People wonder, what's in the water here? Flip back through the pages and paragraphs of this community's history and you can see why that's a question asked with a straight face and a notebook in hand. This place, it's got a gift for peering beyond the horizon, for resilience in the face of adversity. Over the past century and a half, it's attracted farmers, craftspeople, industrialists, academics, and tech startups to its streets and fields. And it's rolled with the punches. It's dusted itself off following the decline of manufacturing and the automotive nosedive. It's redefined its image, marrying new ideas with old buildings, breathing life into abandoned spaces. Recently, like others, Waterloo Region began to push its urban limits towards the countryside, sprawling across the rich fields that give us food, groundwater, and a special connection to a rural landscape. But unlike many others, it sat up and took notice that a unique way of life was slowly eroding. In a community of three robust cities and four pastoral townships, maintaining a rural-urban balance is no easy feat. But that's the tightrope this community walks every day. Waterloo Region had a decision to make. Allow the urban limits to push further into its farmland or contain that growth in the downtown cores. It would be a hard decision that would shape the community for generations to come and establish these past few years as a historic period in the ongoing story of Waterloo Region. Like an evening dress. 